How to decline a job offer after accepting when you decide to decline a job offer after having already been accepted. There are some important factors to consider. Always remember to be respectful, courteous, and sure of your decision before you decline, regardless of your reason. Sending a professional job offer rejection is delicate. So it's important to choose your words wisely to maintain good relationships. In this article, we discuss how to decline a job offer after accepting and explore the common reasons for changing your mind and rejecting a job offer. Welcome to Canada Smart Mind, the Canadian school that will help you to achieve your dreams. Now let's see. Welcome to Canada Smart Mind the premier Canadian school dedicated to helping you achieve your dreams. Whether you are looking to further your education, improve your skills, or advance your career, we are here to support you every step of the way. How to decline a job offer after accepting here is a guide to help you write the best job offer rejection letter. 1. Be sure of your decision when deciding to decline a job offer. You must be sure of your decision. Once you reject the job offer, it's likely a permanent decision. Consider writing the various advantages and disadvantages of rejecting the job offer to visualize your options. This helps you confirm your decision before you reach out to the employer or hiring manager. To build confidence in your decision, consider speaking to someone close to you. This provides you with a clearer image and second opinion of your situation. 2. Review your contract. It's more difficult to decline a job offer. Once you've signed an employment contract, if you've signed the contract, read over it again in depth. This provides you with a better idea of which procedures you must go through to terminate the employment. In most cases, the contract tells you whether you need to give notice after you accept a job offer. The contract also typically details who to contact regarding your resignation. If you haven't yet signed a contract, you can contact the hiring manager or another professional who sent you the offer. You are under no obligation to provide notice if you haven't formally signed a contract or begun employment. 3. Decline the offer quickly The best action to take when deciding to decline a job offer is to inform the organization as quickly as possible. When you've read over your contract and you know what the allotted time is to decline your job offer or submit a letter of resignation, inform your supervisor right away. Employers typically appreciate it when you respect their time and consider their need to find another candidate. Once you decline the offer, your employer needs to find a new employee, so providing them with ample notice is vital. Consider recommending someone you know for the position when possible. 4. Stay open to adjustments to the terms you may decline a job offer but you can still leave the possibility open for other opportunities in the future. It's best to consider any alternatives before declining the job position. For example, if you are declining because the pay isn't as much as you'd hoped, the employer may be able to increase your annual salary. Before contacting your supervisor or employer, consider how they could change the situation. You can always reconsider the terms of your employment contract. So, if you are leaving because of reasons related to work or job conditions, consider speaking openly with your employer before rejecting the job offer. If you are rejecting the job offer because of external circumstances, it may be in your best interest to ask your employer whether they can offer you a later start date. This prevents you from needing to decline a good job and saves your employer from needing to find someone new entirely. 5. Remain respectful and courteous more than anything. You must be respectful and courteous when communicating your decision to your supervisor or recruiter. This allows you to keep your options open. That's why you must write your rejection letter with gratitude. In doing so, you can maintain a professional relationship with the hiring manager and the organization. This makes it possible to work with them again in the future if another opportunity arises. 6. Keep it concise You are writing a rejection letter to inform your employer that your circumstances have changed and that you are no longer able to work for them because of personal or external reasons. You don't need to develop a detailed explanation for your reason if you're not comfortable discussing this with your supervisor. Keep your message short and to the point, offering only the essential information they need so your decision is clear. Reasons for rejecting a job offer Here are some common reasons for declining a job offer. You have been offered another job If you're offered another job that you prefer to the one you've already accepted, you need to contact the organization and inform them of your offer rejection. The other job offer may have come in after the original job you accepted, or you may believe it is a better career opportunity. The key to rejecting the first job offer in this situation is to thank the hiring manager for the opportunity and decline as soon as possible. Tell us in the comments below which topics you feel are better for you. And remember to hit the bell icon and subscribe yourself. Now, let's get back to the video.
The role is not a good professional fit when you first submit a job application. You do so while considering the research you've done until that point. After going through the interview process and accepting a job offer, you have a better idea of what your responsibilities and roles are within the company. Once you have this information, you can decide whether the job truly is the right fit for you. You don't fit in with the company culture when you accept the job offer, you also have a better idea of the new company's culture. If you find you aren't a right fit for the company culture, you can express these concerns to the hiring manager. However, be sure you mention the good parts of the company's culture when you decline a job offer after accepting it. Examples of declining job interviews after accepting here are some examples of job interview rejections after you have already accepted. Example 1. Rejection after signing an employment contract Dear Mr. Hoggard, I want to start this letter by thanking you for considering me for the position of assistant manager with your company and for offering me this job. I've truly enjoyed the short time I've gotten to spend with my coworkers, but I'm afraid I must now decline the job offer despite having previously accepted. During the staff training, I discovered that the role of assistant manager is not the right fit for my skill set. I have carefully reviewed my employment contract. I can see the organization requires two weeks notice before resigning after accepting a job offer, so my last day will be October 18, 2021. With all of this being said, I would also like to help you with the transition and help you in finding someone else should you need it. One of my previous coworkers, Keenan Doak, is exceptionally talented and would be a great fit for this position. I've already spoken to Keenan and have gotten his permission to share his contact information with you. Please find his contact information, resume, and cover letter attached. I've also cc apostrophe d him in this email. I worked with this individual for over six years, and there's no one better suited to lead a team. If there's anything I can do to help you following my absence, please let me know. Thank you very much. Wishing you the very best, Hannah Xavier. Example 2. Job offer rejection before starting work Dear Mrs. Maddox, I'm writing this email to you because I want to thank you once again for the job offer. While I originally accepted, I'm afraid my circumstances have now changed and I have to decline. I've found a position elsewhere that matches my long-term career goals more closely and offers career development opportunities that I simply can't turn down. I wanted to let you know as soon as possible so you have adequate notice to find another candidate before the start date. If there is anything I can do to aid you in finding the right candidate, please let me know. Once again, I want to extend my sincerest thanks for taking the time to meet with me and for offering me this wonderful opportunity. I am certain you will find an excellent candidate and wish you all the best. Sincerely, Kimberly. I thank all the support of Canada Smart Mind and thank you very much for watching this video. I will see you at the next one.